Yeah. Can you believe I won that crap? Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
the two black pocket queens went all in. The pocket eights decided the pot was too big, so they went all in. We ended up with a six way all in. Oh yeah, there was uh, after the pocket eights went all in, there was a another hand all in, I believe there. So anyway, it was a six way all in, as you can see. This was in the at the end of the rebuy period, so it sounds crazy, but maybe uh, it wasn't as crazy as uh, you think. But wasn't that weird? All those pocket, big pocket purrs and uh, big hands, unbelievable. So that was really good fun. Um, and the board run out quite interesting. It ended up with the Queen of Clubs making the uh, nut flush there. Um, we got to the freeze out stage with three of us being uh, the big chip leaders there. And when, when we got down to the last three in the money, those three people, myself included, was the ones that got into the last three, which was uh, pretty obvious at that point really, because uh, we had most of the chips in play. So that was a good little tournament. Lots and lots of fun. The guy to my right, <laughs> and uh, he, um, he, Right at the beginning of the night, he slow played the flop with one heart on board. Uh, he flopped two per. I had ace of hearts, three or four of hearts, ace three of hearts, something like that. Ace three, ace four of hearts. And uh, I was ready to fold. I missed the flop. And he checked two per to get a little tricky. We all checked around. He saw a turn, which was another heart. And he checked it again, I believe. It all checked around, and another heart came on the river. <laughs> a middle position guy, but he went all in. I went all in with my nut flush. He had the king of hearts. He had a king, king high flush. I had the ace high flush. So that was the start of it. And then I made another three or four, five heart flushes I made flushes against him multiple times so it was quite amusing at the end for me um, I run lucky on that one but this one here I show you where I had a small uh, heart flush and turned turned the flush and uh, luckily for him he let it go at that point so that was a great uh, little one table tournament and uh, we chopped I was in it for 60 it was a four i bought him for 40 add on for 20 and cashed out for 320 so that was a nice little profit of 260 so that was nice and that was on saturday night uh sunday last night i played in a cash game i bought him for a hundred and cashed out for 580 making a profit of 480 so that was pretty cool um, in a 1-2 cash game so uh, that was really good I run really good in that one um, played uh, pretty good played my position good played my cards good and ended up booking a win I, I also got the high hand there's one dollar out of every pot put in uh, a cup for the high hand and it's spread out at midnight and I had that I was uh, aces full of nines so uh, that's quite a low high hand, but it held up all that long, so that was pretty good. I made some uh, nice little boats, played some uh, good strong hands. Uh, an interesting one was the uh, last hand of the night, one minute to midnight. Everybody is going to be chasing, trying to get that uh, high hand because it's worth some money. So the worth, the value uh, of it is quite quite high they try to put some uh, money in so the last hour they're playing a lot of pots and uh, but one minute to midnight uh, I was in the big blind and everybody limped in nearly everybody on the table limped in two dollars two dollars two dollars two dollars <laughs> I looked down I had king jack of hearts so trying to protect the high hand I put a twenty dollar raise on the pot and the guy to my left called and the guy at the bottom end of the table called and everybody else folded. <laughs> everybody thought I was just making a play with weak cards um, because they thought I was just trying to uh, make them all fold to uh, 
take my high hand. The flop was really good. It was King Jack 8. So I flopped uh, top two per. I was really ecstatic at that, po at that moment. So I see bet for $25 and they both called. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, if somebody's hit a set of eights or something, um, I've got blockers to the king and the jack. More, more likely they were on some form of uh, straight draws or, you know, maybe they had a king in the hand or something like that. But um, the turn was a 10, so it's a little bit of a scare. There was two spades on board now. The uh, Broadway straight has got there. Um, there's a few uh, sets that beat me. I'm still thinking I'm good, so I thought, well, I'll, I'll pot control rather than uh, lose all my winnings because I was up a few hundred dollars anyway already and I didn't want to blow it all off a minute to midnight. <laughs> So, uh, so I checked uh, and I said, um, oh, let them draw what they're drawing to, you know, trying to just uh, do a bit of pot control. And uh, they both checked behind. So uh, I was going to uh, check call right there, but they both checked behind. The river was a blank. It was something like a, um, a six of clubs or something. So I thought, well, if they check behind on, on that, I'm probably good. I didn't want to bet big in this little, this game here, but I wanted to just see where I was at. So I threw out a $10 bet <laughs> and I uh, got a first guy to fold and the second guy sort of shook his head and threw in $10. And uh, I was good. My King Jack, my top two pair was good. He had a lower two pair and a flush draw, so I was good. So I won a big pot after the end of the, after the end of the night. There, I uh, got to scoop the uh, high hand, and uh, overall I was up four hundred and eighty dollars. Like I said, in for a hundred, cashed out for five eighty. I'll take that every day of the week. So that was good, and um, hope you enjoy the vlogs. Um, it's time for me to uh, go do some work, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys later. Thanks for watching. Press the thumbs up button, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And um, I'll see you next time. Thanks now. Bye.